Hi, this is Mark from Tarantohala and welcome to this rehousing episode. Today we will rehouse three tarantulas, one Petsiloteria, one Iborapora and one special spider because it doesn't belong to me, it belongs to my girlfriend. It's a Psalmopeus irminia and my girlfriend will arrange the terrarium herself and try to rehouse her. So let's see if she can escape the clutches of the Venezuelan sun tiger. This is my first glass enclosure, so I hope it will come out pretty well. Until now, all of my spiders resided in plastic boxes. I start by filling the terrarium with coconut fiber, then add some cork back for the spider to hide. I put some sphagnum moss into the enclosure to help maintain a higher humidity in the terrarium. Salmopus irminia have beautiful orange ornaments, so I want to add some colored lichen to emphasize it. I decided to enrich the terrarium with some stones and to plant some plastic plants. I sprinkled everything with some jungle earth and rinsed the enclosure with water. I prefer to use black cardstock for the background because I always can take it off and look how my spiders doing. It still gives the spider security like cork background but it's more practical for me. Now I add some spring taste and isopods and yeah, my terrarium is ready. Since I had two terrariums to build, I decided to make them side by side. I chose two sizes of enclosures. The bigger one, 20 by 20 by 40 cm is for the Petsiloteria and the 20 by 20 by 30 cm is for the Iberapora diversipes. I started by adding a cork background that I previously cut to size and glued them to the back of the terrarium with some hot glue. The hot glue gun came handy to add some cork shelves on the background. The glue residue and holes between the cork sheet and enclosure were tidied up by some sphagnum moss. As previously mentioned, the sphagnum moss is a great way to improve the humidity. That's why it is always a great idea to add some of this stuff to enclosures where a higher level is needed. The shelves are also a great place to add some reindeer lichen, although I prefer the more natural looking. Next I filled up everything with cocoa fiber, previously prepared by rehydrating. To prevent fungus and mold I added some springtails. They are a powerful tool for every keeper. The most important part is of course a place for the tarantula to hide. In most cases this will be a fitting piece of cork bark. The Iborapora will probably make a web in the upper corner, but the pokey will definitely use it as a hide. More sphagnum moss to enrich the substrate a bit. Hi Regis. Time to be a plastic gardener. The composition is my classic arboreal setup with ferns hanging down and plants getting smaller in size the more to the front of the terrarium. Plastic plants are great, if you don't want to risk a terrarium full of dead plants. I sprinkled some jungle earth, made some fine touches, added isopods and we are done! And here's how the terrariums look after setup. Pretty cool in my opinion. We also took the opportunity to take some pictures of the tarantulas before rehousing. Most of them were pretty chilled, only the Iberapora was a bit cocky. The rehouse went pretty smooth, no bolting, no biting, 
only one small fight with the Amazon Sapphire Pink Toe. So, as you can see, we successfully rehoused the Ibora Pora diversipes, the Psalmopeus irminia and the Pecilotheria smithi. We are happy because we are done for today. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos. And as always, thank you for watching. Tarantuhala out.